Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Same old, same old coffee. Not coffee. It's yummy. Anyway, today's high is going to be 66, which will be very nice for going back out into my garden. I really would like to get some of those seeds planted today. Anyway, that's the plan, but sometimes I get a little sidetracked with other chores. In fact, not sometimes, a lot. I get sidetracked all the time. So, yesterday when I went to Walmart with my daughter, I picked up some of this Dunkin' chocolate-covered strawberry, and it's really good. It's a dark roast. And for, from what I'm hearing, dark roast is less acid than light roast. So that's a good thing. So I haven't had that, but I will soon. I had a cup of coffee at my mom's the other day, and it was fine. It didn't really cause me any reflux. So, But I still want to continue to drink the Rise coffee for now and also the Ticino, but I actually prefer the Ticino over the rice. Um, it has a much richer flavor, but either one is good. So if you're looking for a, co a coffee substitute, it's uh, the rice is chicory and mushroom, and the Ticino is different things depending on what flavors you pick. But Ticino has a lot of different flavors of sub, uh, coffee substitutes. And the three that I've tried are very good. So, um, but anyway, I will go back to drinking my morning cup of coffee at some point. Um, this morning it's still pretty cool out there. It's not a nice warm morning, but it'll warm up pretty quick. By the afternoon. So I put some more of this rice creamer in here and it takes a little bit of stirring to get everything dissolved. But anyway that's my plan for today. I want to plant some seeds. So hopefully I get that done but I still have quite a bit of garden cleanup to do out there. But actually this year the garden cleanup has not been as intense as some other years. I tried to get things sort of lined up last fall um, so I wouldn't have so much work this spring. But I need to get rid of a lot of pots. So I'm continuing to downsize in the garden. I don't want to give it up but because I do enjoy it. But I do want to continue to downsize it. It was my plan when I moved into this house, and I've always loved gardening. But it was my plan as I get older to cut back on the gardening. And if I can't do it anymore, I'll pull it all out and they can just plant grass. Because we have um, lawn crews here that that's what we pay our association fees for. So I would have to probably pay to have that done, but that's okay. I mean, that way I don't have to garden anymore if I don't want to, but I still want to. So cheers. Yes, that's very good. I wish it was a little warmer. I would go sit on my deck and... Um, drink my coffee, but it's still a little too chilly. I do have a heater, a small heater, that I got at Aldi's last fall, and I only paid $15 for it, and it's an outdoor heater, but I haven't used it yet. And I also have like a little um, propane fire pit type thing, but I'll use it one of these days. So lots of plans for the garden, and intermittently I have to start cleaning up my garage too. So on warm rainy days I'll do that, and when it's nice out I'll go outside in the garden. 
So, okay, I'm going to drink my coffee and chill a little bit yet this morning. And we'll see what the day brings. Well, I decided I'm working a little bit on my deck. So I was hoping there wasn't a mouse in here, and there wasn't. Because I put mothballs in there in the fall. So I've got my little frog fountain there, and all this stuff needs to be cleaned up. But... I just thought I would work a little bit on my deck. My elephant ears, looks like they're all alive. I peeled back some of the uh, dried up leaves. So that's good. Saved myself $75 there by not buying new ones. So I'm just trying to reuse everything that I can that I already have. I don't want to spend a whole lot of money on the garden this year, but I do want to make it look pretty. So I'm just poking along here, doing my cleaning up, and I'm actually enjoying it a whole bunch. Yeah, it's a lot of work, but it's okay. It's work that I enjoy doing. It's almost going to be time for the hummingbirds to be coming back. I have to start making some honey bird, honey bird, hummingbird <laughs> food pretty soon. Looking forward to seeing them right outside my kitchen window. And the birds are very busy. So are the bees. Well, everything I have on this deck I've had for a long time and uh, probably 20 years anyway. So I don't really want to buy a lot of new deck furniture and all that, so I'm just reusing what I have, saving some money, reusing plants that I've had. I will buy some flowers, that I will do, but I'm trying to use as much as I can of things that I already have laying around. So this is the deck. what I got done today and the birds are up there fighting but anyway speaking of birds I have a bird's nest up there which I'm not real happy about I don't want the baby birds to get injured by the dogs so I'm tired now I need to uh, put my feet up. My dogs made their own doggy door last year. So, <laughs> no sense in getting a new screen. They'll probably just go through it. So now I just have to hose everything off and uh, go on from there. But I'll do that once I get the hose um, turned on, not today. I still have all this. I have to clean up these leaves. Those will be going in my composter as brown material. I think this pot I'm going to put in the front and put flowers in there. And most of the flowers that I'm going to plant, I'm going to plant in the garden to um, try and get pollinators to come and pollinate my stuff. So it's coming along. I'm happy with what I got accomplished today. Tomorrow is another day and another chore. We'll get done. Oh my goodness, I'm beat. <laughs> I'm in my favorite spot. My hair is a mess. I'm a mess, but it's okay. You know, I don't know about you guys, but it makes me feel really good when I get something accomplished during the day. Even if I am sore from doing it, that's okay. At least I know I got something done. So I didn't get my seeds planted. I got distracted and did my deck instead. But now I can go out there and sit, and I did. I went out there and I sat on my um, glider and that was nice so 
as the days warm up, that's what I enjoy doing. I used to always sit in the garage, but I have so much stuff in the garage that's not really possible right now. So, but that those chores I'm going to keep for a rainy day now that it's warming up. And I really need to go through all my gardening supplies because a lot of it is like old nursery pots and pots I don't use anymore. And those are all going to go in the trash. Uh, I don't need to store that much stuff anymore. If some of these pots do wear out in a few years, then I'll just get a couple new ones. But it's really my plan not to replace a whole lot. As things break and wear out, uh, they'll go in the trash, and I'm not going to replace a lot of things. Now, I have three sets of tables and chairs out there. I don't need three sets. The one table is just about done. Um, so I'll keep that for a little bit yet. I can always put uh, plants on it and it'll raise it up to a level where I can plant things. But once the uh, metal totally rusts out, it's going to the curb. And then um, I won't replace that. I'll just keep one set of tables and chairs, a small one, maybe a bistro set, or maybe... I saw Walmart had a nice set for... it was under $100, and it had four chairs and a little square table. It was really nice, but I'm not buying that. But, you know, just for an idea for down the road. So, um, yeah, it's my goal to have a couple chairs on the deck, maybe the glider, and then out in the garden to maybe have a set of tables and chairs for, um, like if I have a little barbecue or gathering, whatever. I mean, I have folding chairs. If I ever need chairs for out there, I can always take those out. But I don't entertain that much anymore. Um, so there's no point. You know, my neighbor will come over once in a while and we'll have a coffee or a glass of wine, something like that. But other than that, you know, it's just me, so there's no point to overdoing it. But on the other hand, getting rid of stuff that's still good, um, you know, I'd rather just wear it out. I would rather wear it out than just willy-nilly throw things out and have to buy new. So I'm going to sit and read my book. I showed you this book yesterday. No more work for me today. I did not even do my uh, budget book again. So I'm going to have about a week to catch up on that. But um, this Garden Alchemy... It's 80 recipes and concoctions for organic fertilizers, plant elixirs, potting mixes, pest deterrents, and more. And it's by Stephanie Rose of Garden Therapy. So I think this is such a pretty cover. I like art on black. Even um, when Bob Ross used to do the, the black gesso background and then he'd paint on top of it. I, I think it makes the colors really pop. And that's another thing I would like to get back to doing is um, I'd like to start painting out on my deck. You know, setting up an easel and um, doing some painting. So I have big plans. <laughs> Hopefully they'll materialize. I'm getting tired of just working, 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 you know, downsizing. It's a lot of work. It really is. Especially if you um, aren't in the fittest of shape anymore as you get older. It gets really difficult. So, all right, well, I think that's it for me for today. Um, I'm going to have a nice cup of Ticino coffee now and just kind of relax because it's getting to be three o'clock and that is for me the witching hour 
where I just totally run out of steam. So, all right, my friends, I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. It helps my channel grow. Don't forget to share. And thanks for watching.